The crew excited about that as we move into the final of Top Door Slammer Andra Pro Series. Auto One and NZ helping us bring you the action on one. And there has been one man atop the Door Slammer Mountain over the past few seasons and has been John Zapier. And Morris Fabietti, and no surprise in the paddock, he is adding clutch weight to this car. He wants to have it. John Zapier wants to win this one. I think he's going to set or chase a new level of performance, maybe not just for the Holden Chetty for Pass Monaro, but for the bracket. That's what it's going to take to beat the guy in the other lane, the striker car. These two have gone five seconds three times this weekend already, so in absolutely scintillating form. And we talk about the Achilles heel of John Zappi over the past. It's been his slow reaction time, so ends it. Well, have a look at this. His last five reaction times is average 0.084, quicker than any other door slammer racer. It's really like Happy Gilmore when he learned how to putt. It's a really scary prospect. <laughs> this guy's got the speed, he's got the ET, now he's got the reaction time. It's a complete package, unquestioned, as is this guy though, Morris Fabietti. We saw a glimpse a season or two ago when he took out his first Andrew Pro Series event win. And since then, particularly on the back half of last season, some uh, advice from overseas has helped him round out this package. But also, Morris Fabietti, an engine builder by trade, is no slouch. But certainly, getting that clutch right has been the key looking at this combination. But John Zapier, fresh combination. The conditions be a little interesting as the air cools down. The track has cooled down some as well. Into free stage, Zapier on 20 race wins. Closing in on the all-time record of 24. 0.981 to the 60 for Morris Fabiani. Big moment for John Sapia. Goodness me. What happened there? That is enormous fuel pouring out of the front end of the striker car. This is a monster accident. Morris Fabiani takes the win, ends the win streak. And Zapier is moving inside that race car. A monumental collision with the concrete wall head on just before half track. Obviously, we're relieved to hear that John Zappi is A-OK. -okay. Obviously, the striker crushing and screening Monaro is not. This iconic drag racing vehicle, an enormous hit into the side retaining wall. Morris Fabietti takes the win. 0.981 to the 60, as quick as I've ever seen in a door slammer car. Well, let's have another look at this. Zapier unloads those rear tyres. Could oh. that be the cause? Wow, it really got up on that oh. wall. A big impact. Head on, we'll have another look. He got half off and half on that racing groove, didn't it? Well, he's always been on the edge of destruction, it's fair to say. Oh. Man, he got up on that wall with the shift light shining red in his face still but that has done a lot of damage to the front of that car. He has a habit of getting off that racing groove and keeping the car tidy. Obviously not that time, on board with Fabietti this time. Violent tyre shake for Fabietti, has a pedal. The taco shook loose. He would have absolutely no idea what's happened behind him. The head-on angle, this will give us a good look. Synchronised shake. Wow. Just unloaded, big time. The balance of the car just totally left John Zapier. When you do a wheel stand like that and you come down hard, you take all the weight off the rear tyres and it can send you into... 